So the key point to remember when you're doing the balance at bank with F3 financial accounting is that if you are looking at things from the business's point of view, a balance at bank is actually an asset. And so in your books, the company's books, whether you be a sole trader, a company, a partnership, anything like that, from your point of view, from the company, the business's point of view, that asset will be a debit item. Good news, resources, favorable balance, that kind of thing. But obviously when you look at the, the bank's point of view, which is outside the company, the bank says that money I owe the company is actually a credit in my eyes because me as a bank owes the company the money, so it's a liability, therefore it's a credit in my books. It's absolutely vital to get that point right. As you know, I teach F3 and F7, and even at F7, last night, there were people asking me questions like that, or doing it wrong, which is much more serious. So, once more I'll say, to begin to get a hold of F3, if you're talking about the bank balance, money in the bank, from the company's point of view, is a debit balance, an asset, but from the bank's point of view, as per the bank statement, it will obviously be a credit balance. So you've got to be careful as to where you stand.